day five today what we have done is get the website up and live it's live on automate gpt.streamlit.app this is zero dollar challenge so everything that i've done so far has cost zero dollars the hosting is hosted by streamlit themselves using their cloud hosting platform which you have to apply for which i did and got accepted um so i set up the app there all you got to do is put the code which is just one code file on github with the requirements.txt for the dependencies to install as well as the packages.txt for the other dependencies to install, and then send it over to them and it automatically hosts. And then we also got it set up, got it set up on Planet Scale, which is a database, and we're using the Hobby Plan, which is a free plan. Um, this stores all our user information. Um, so we have different members, they have a lot of different data stored in the database. And then we have the login auth working, which is also done through Planet Scale. And again, this is all done through Streamlit and Python, which is just one code file. As you can see here, this is the code uh, for this app. This is all it is. It's 300 lines of code, but we get all of it. So we get all these features. And then we use Stack AI Flow for the back end, which is not free, but there is a free plan. So technically it is. Um, so now we can just jump in and showcase what we got. Okay. So this is day five, and this is what we have. We built um, the website, which is automategpt.framer, which is using AI as well. And we generated this website with a Calendly call platform, but we didn't get any calls yet because we haven't done any marketing. And then we have also set up a TikTok, social media, but unfortunately LinkedIn, Facebook, and Instagram have banned me because I was using a fake identity for this challenge. But either way, let's just continue. We're still going to persevere. Um, so you can log in and test this app yourselves. Link is in the description. Automate GBT. GPT, sorry, dot streamlit dot app, and then to log in, you say test, test at email dot com, and then log in successfully. And as you can see, when you're logged in, so it's logged in as email, has your brand name and niche, and your plan. Okay, so brand name and niche is going to be set by the customer, and then plan is going to be free, which is going to allow them to have three generations, which I didn't configure yet because I'm still testing it out. As you can see here, I've done 58 generations today while testing, and the last update was. August 31st. Okay, so it has your saved ideas. Um, I have one saved idea here and it's stored in the database. So even if I log out, log in, it'll still be saved and I can generate new things. So how it works is the flow, whatever I enter in here gets sent into Stack AI using an API call. And then it gets sent to this prompt. So whatever the input is, it gets sent to this prompt. So create a content plan based on user's input, including using the knowledge base you have access to. Make sure to provide the time to post it based on data, the content ideas for the user to make based on platform selected, and any other important details. And then, yeah, and then it generates a whole content plan based on the prompt. So if you want to test it out, um, let's say I, I own a restaurant and we have a deal for three burgers for $20, give me a TikTok idea. Okay, so now we can generate, and now it's generating the content, so user will type their idea, the prompt, and then it will be sent to Stack AI, which is, and now Stack AI is making the response with GPT-25, and then it sends it back to our Streamlight application to present. Okay, so having a little error here, I don't know why that is, maybe because 3.5 is glitching, um, but it says platform TikTok, time to post lunchtime or dinner time. And then it says content idea burger challenge create a TikTok video showcasing the three burgers for twenty dollar deal to at your restaurant. Start by introducing the challenge and explaining the amazing value. Then show a time lapse of the burgers being prepared, assembled with mouth water and close ups. And then it has a burger taste test and a behind the scenes idea. Okay, and then let's say you like this. Okay, TikTok burger. And you can press enter. Let's save idea. And then it saves here. So now. You can go through your ideas and like, okay, I'm going to make this one today. I'm going to make that one today. Okay, let's do this for our Facebook, you know, so you can save it as you like. That's the whole idea that we've got so far. So this is day five, and this is the way we have done. It's all set up for free, using Streamlit for hosting, using Python for the actual development of it with the Streamlit, with using Streamlit, using Planet Scale, the free plan for the hosting of the database and the user information. So next, we have to find a way um, to get some leads. Um, I'm going through a lot of brainstorming in my head, trying to think of a good idea. Maybe we can tweak it a bit, but overall, we're headed in the right direction. Um, now we just need to find some people to sell it to. Um, even if we don't sell it, it's not that important. As long as we have this to showcase what we can do for our clients, um, that's a start. Okay. 
So another thing is the stachyi side. Um, this is going to be a big part of it. Um, we're going to have to feed it good knowledge bases or, or maybe even knowledge base specific to the company that we are making the deal with. Um, and yeah, and then maybe we, need, we can provide them a good demo and then go from there. And yeah, so that's day five. It's just a bit of a slow day, but that is what it is. It took me a lot of time to get this up and running on Streamlit. Um, again, I do this all with barely any coding experience. So just so you guys can do it as well, I want to do something that everybody can do. And this is something that you can do as well, which I will be posting a full tutorial on how to actually build a full Streamlit SaaS. Um, it's not full right now because we're still having to do the payments is going to be done manually. I could add it and make it that after the three generations are up, it prompts you to pay and then call it with the Stripe up hook and all that. We could, I might, but I want to do it, make it more personalized. That's why I'm not doing that now. If this was to go on a large scale, and um, I want, I want it's going to provide it to a large group of people. I could go that route, but since I'm just doing it um, for tailored businesses, so I can charge up more, give them a one-on-one -on -one experience, I'm going to keep it like this for now. So thank you guys for watching. Day six tomorrow. Um, hopefully we can get something done or make some money. Um, so I know you guys, that's what you guys are waiting for. So stay tuned for that and have a great day.